Ching Chang Lang, man. That's that ring I was telling you about. Man, that's so good. I. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm your host and oligarch of opera, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today is Musical Theatre Thursday. Today we're going to be looking at the Ringmasters and their Notre Dame medley as, um, I think, at a competition for Barbershop Harmony Society. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content. It really helps out the channel. Now, without further ado, let us dive into the Ringmasters and their Barbershop version of the Notre Dame medley. This is from the Disney movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, Finding their A there at the beginning. Live in Nashville, Tennessee, 2016. The fish fishes the baker man bakes to the bells of Notre Dame. To the big bells as loud as a thunder. To the little bells soft as a song. And some say the soul of the city is the toll of the bells. The bells, the bells, the bells, the bells. The bells. The bells. Ring by themselves. No, high in the tower lives the bell ringer. Very dramatic. Why is he there? It's a tale of a man and a monster. Okay, so I love that straight tone that is so indicative of barbershop as a genre. And the reason that they do that straight tone, I believe, and this comes from, <laughs> filtered through my good buddy Phil, who's who's big in the barbershop community and uh, loves this music and loves this genre and has turned me on to some great, great works. Now, I, I have to admit, I don't know enough about the genre as, uh, as I would like to, but my understanding is that straight tone is important for the stacking of each of those harmonies. And, and you'll notice that if you listen closely, there's a seventh in just about every uh, harmony in traditional barbershop, and that gives it that ring, hence why this group has decided to dub themselves the, the Ringmasters, and for good reason, because you can hear that ring permeating through every note that they sing together as a unit. The judge clawed for all our long to purge the world of vice and sin. So is this the baritone? No, no, this is the... This must be the berry. And the guy beside him is the bass. And took him this young child, deformed from birth, calling him Quasimodo. Nice low note. Dies Dies I must keep him locked away when no one else can see. No one will behold him. Even this foul creature may it prove one day to be such clarity in all of their words. The diction is impeccable, as well as their pitch. It's amazing. Here's a riddle to guess if you can sing the bells of Notre Dame. Tell me who is the monster and who is the man. at the people down below me and all my life I watch them as I hide up here I'm hungry for the histories they show me and all my life I memorize their faces just knowing them as they will never know me and I wonder, I wonder all my life I wonder how it 
fields to pass a day, not above them, not high above them, but part of them. So a little bit of expression and vibrato at the end of those phrases from the lead tenor. Shout and scroll, they go about their lives. So Heedless of the gift it is to be them. Or if I were in their skin, I treasure every chills. Amazing, guys. Wow. Just one day and then I swear I'll be content with my share, with my share Won't resent, won't, won't despair Old and bent, I won't care I'll have spent What a great blend between those four voices Shang Lang, man, that's that ring I was telling you about. Man, that's so good. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have stopped it there because they're just getting up to their big crescendo here. It's almost at the end of the medley. Hang on, I'll start it again. Holy leather lungs! Listen to that. <laughs> Psych! You thought we were done? Oh what no. What makes a monster and what makes a man? What makes a man? Bells, 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 bells. Just as fresh vocally now as they were at the beginning of the song. Sweet Savasana, man. Those guys, that that is a prime example of what you want to do when you finish your barbershop medley or any song. That is a tag. So the tag at the end of the song, uh, let's obviously everyone know that that's the end. But that just went on and on and on and on. And he held the, the, the two of them. I think it was the baritone and the, and the lead held that tag note for just what seemed like an eternity and you can see everybody's up on their feet wow wow that's that's really <laughs> really incredible it looks like this must be the end of the competition they each have their medallion so maybe that these guys must have been the winners i don't know if there are any barber shoppers who are watching this who know more than i do which which is probably likely please leave a comment in the comment section and set me straight um yeah, yeah, what what incredible technique, what what breath control. You couldn't sense that there was that much effort in their breathing and breath technique. You can see why these guys are the champ. So now if you're looking to figure out your technique and you're wanting to get up on stage and perform like these guys, I strongly suggest you seek out the professional services of a vocal coach. It doesn't have to be me, but if you wanna work with me, I will be sure to leave a link in the description and you can contact me there. And as always, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Really helps out the channel. And let me know if you like this kind of content. Uh, if you 
you want to see more of this kind of commentary, I really, really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, making it to the end of this video, and we will see you next time.